Dr. Mark Sagar from the University of Auckland and Soul Machines is creating emotionally intelligent avatars, humanizing the way people interact with computers. We make them be able to sense the environment, we make them emotionally aware and able to do complex tasks and to learn. And so Mark's passion really has been about taking that knowledge and taking that IP and then applying it to tools which you can then use and modify on a day-to-day -day basis in a scalable and sustainable way. It's to do with the way that we cooperate with machines and also the way that we can co-create with machines. But you can imagine a situation where in the future your avatar becomes your window into the web. And the other thing is it actually also has the potential to give us an insight into how the brain works through our work on embodied cognition. He's got a fantastically clear and simple vision to make a computer think and learn and grow like a human. And so Mark's passion really has been about taking that knowledge and then applying it to tools which you can then use and modify on a day-to-day -day basis in a scalable and sustainable way. You know, he's a serial entrepreneur. Is He started out by saying, well, how is this going to be valuable? Anything that's going to potentially disrupt a business as large as Facebook or Google or give alternatives for those companies is bound to be useful. With Mark's entrepreneurial talent, Soul Machines has raised 7.5 million US dollars in funding so far, and its first commercial project is a virtual online assistant. You imagine, you know, the sort of work he's trying to do would require somebody who understands human emotion and how humans learn. Some of that's a creative artistic process and some of that's a science and hard engineering process. He's really put them together. I think, you know, one of the, the things which really came clear is how important the right people are and, you know, getting a really good team. The university strategic hires look more like Mark Sagar than they do someone else.